using 5-amino with other compounds, things like BPC-157, creatine, testosterone. Let's talk about that. So we're talking about stacking here to, to create an optimal result. So let's think, again, what does 5-amino-1-MQ five, five does? 5-amino-1-MQ inhibits NNMT. NNMT is elevated in obesity, in fat, in, in, in inflamed body, an obese body, a insulin-resistant body, or just a body that's older. Yeah? NNMT increases. What happens with an NNMT is it steals NAD+. And NAD+, is the very fuel for mitochondrial health. So if NNMT is increasing, it's stealing NAD+, which is robbing mitochondria, the mitochondria of the very thing it needs to be functioning well. So we inhibit NNMT. Now we have more NAD+, which is going towards fueling the mitochondria. Why is that important? You've heard of mitochondrial health. You've heard of cellular health. It's wafted it around, but it really is key. And what it's doing here is so your mitochondria is like the battery pack in your cells. And it and, and so your mitochondria is, to really summarize, it's taking in fuel and converting it into energy, right? It's converting it to energy. So when we have more energy, we have less fatigue. And I'm not talking about being tired because you're tired. I'm talking about like people are suffering with a low level of fatigue. But if they're suffering from a low level of fatigue, so are, so is their heart, so are their lungs. It's cellular energy, not just the energy we think about if we're bouncing off the walls or not. So by inhibiting NNMT, we can increase NAD, which on the cellular level is going to help the mitochondria and to produce more energy. So why is that important or why is that a good thing? If we are also taking testosterone, creatine, BPC-157. Let's start with BPC-157. BPC-157 is pretty awesome stuff. In the past, I tend to only use it when I've been injured. And it's worked really well. My shoulder, I couldn't even tell you which one I hurt. I think it was this one, but actually can't tell. And I thought I was heading for surgery with that. So I, in the past, have only taken BPC-157 when I, I was hurt, but now I'm taking it on a much more regular basis. For one, yes, for injury, soft tissue, fabulous stuff. Tissue healing, fabulous stuff. But also for gut health. So when I do take BPC-157, then my digestion's the best. Noticeably the best. And that's, that in itself is a good reason for me to take it all the time. Now, BPC-157, you can get injectable form. You can also get in capsule form. I would say the capsule form isn't as good for tissue repair, but it is really good for gut health. But again, when we're talking about tissue repair, tissue healing, regeneration, that has an energy component. And if you've got sluggish mitochondria, then you're not getting that energy production that is required for tissue repair. So obviously optimal mitochondrial health is going to help the use of BPC-157. And if we go along with that, with that train of thought, and we think about testosterone, testosterone is great for building muscle, for strength gains, the anabolic ad ad adaptive response, muscle protein synthesis. But again, all of that requires energy. And again, if your mitochondria is sluggish, which a lot of people, because of poor eating habits, but also just the amount of years we've been on this planet, mitochondria are tired, they're sluggish, they're not producing enough energy. So, you know, that testosterone, is, although it's there, it's not really able to do its job quite as well as if you have a really mitochondria that are just firing off. When you think of mitochondria, think of when it's sluggish, Think of when your phone's about to die, it's about 5% and the screen goes dark and your apps don't work. That's what's happening when your mitochondrial is not, mitochondria is not working very well. And again, body in poor health, if that's going to be the case, but also just an aging body. That's part of the problems that we see in aging, why we're not responding as well, why we're not getting the results we used to get because of the mitochondrial health, just because we're older. So we have to improve that. And 5-amino does that. So yes, it's going to, with regards to taking testosterone, which I do as part of my HRT, guys do part of their testosterone replacement. And young people just have an abundance of it anyway. But what testosterone, testosterone does 
is going to be way improved with mitochondrial health. The same goes for creatine. So creatine is used for those short bursts of energy, ATP production. To improve ATP production, again, that is that the core of that is mitochondrial health. So again, if you're using creatine, it's going to work better if you are optimal at a cellular level. Now, most people love creatine. It makes them stronger. If you are stronger, you lift more weight. And then if you recover well and have enough protein, then you're going to get a great result. As a postmenopausal woman, then there's a lot of other benefits of taking creatine, cognitive health, etc. It goes on. But all of these, and, and the list goes on, it's not just BPC-157, testosterone and creatine. They just happen to be the three that I use. But they're going to work better if the foundation upon which they're working on is optimal. And that's the basis of mitochondrial health. And that's where 5-amino comes in. It works on a core level. So 5-amino 1MQ, my website, www.5amino.com. Amazing stuff.